after me, brothers, and keep my bloody head down. My boys, I'll enlist it together. And they died together, August 7th, 1915. In an American context, Gallipoli is unknown. This is an area of the First World War that didn't involve America. But the themes of the war to divine are gigantic and universal. It's about the grief and love of a father who goes on a search for his sons. They should be buried at home beside their mother. I'll find them, love. I'll find them and I'll bring them home to you. And that sets off a story which is life-affirming and beautiful. Andrew Anastasius and Andrew Knight, the writers of the screenplay, came across an intriguing line, a letter from the Imperial Wargraves unit. One old chap managed to get here from Australia today, looking for the graves of his sons. That's too good a line. That's too good an opportunity for a story. You walk off your farm, you turn up in this place, the horrors, and for what? My sons were all killed in one day. I can find them. Right from the first reading, I knew I was having a response to this script that was different. The thing that resounded with me was the Turkish perspective. I knew the number of Australian and New Zealand dead, but I didn't know the number of Turkish dead. We lost 70,000 men here at Çanakkale. You can easily create a legend out of every war story, but it's not that. It's the real characters, real situations, real struggle. If this is your son, he did not die here. He was taken prisoner. One of the key things in life is to persevere. And I think that that's what the movie pushes towards. So he's alive? I don't know. But you have hope. Hope's a necessity where I come from. There's a potential for something special at the end of the story. He's alive. I know he is.